What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at the current summary of rumors for the upcoming S23 and the S23 Ultra. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So it's been about a year since February of 2022 and we're kind of getting all gearing up here for the release of the next S23 series of phones from Samsung. All indications are at the moment that the S23 will be released in February of 2023 with the official announcement slated to happen in on February 1st of 2023. Nothing is confirmed at the moment, but one of the main things that we do think we know about the S23 series of phones is that there will be a small price increase on each segments of the phones. The base model is rumored to be increased as well as the S23 Plus and S23 Ultra will also be rumored to increase. This will of course vary depending on which region and which currency you're dealing with, but it is rumored that across the board there will be a price increase on these phones. Considering that these are already pretty expensive flagship phones, this will be a tough pill to swallow. But so we'll just have to wait to see what the final price is on the S22 Ultra. It's also rumored that the S22 Ultra and the S22 series of phones will have a very similar look and design to the S22 series of phones. This will make a lot of sense as most of the updates on this flagship series have been iterative and the major update that we saw last year from the S22 Ultra was actually the inclusion of the S Pen and there's really nothing to indicate that the S Pen won't be included on this year's S23 Ultra. Coinciding with the upcoming release of the S23 Ultra, we actually have a price cut on a lot of major outlets for the S22, including some regions for Amazon. So if you're looking to still get the S22 Ultra, now might be a good time to do so because you might be able to get a price cut at some of the major retails as they tr try to clear out stock prior to the, the next shipments of the S23 coming out next month. In regards to the plus ver variant of the S23, the rumor is that the screen size might actually be a little bit bigger as we've been seeing with some flagship phones as well. The S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra are already very large phones for their segment, so having an increased screen size would be a more of an iterative improvement on the S23 series of phones. We also have some other rumors about the hardware on the S23 series of phones based on un unconfirmed documentation about some of the specs. We're looking to have a 20 megapixel primary camera on one of the phones, most likely the S23 Ultra, including 3 times optical zoom and a 10 megapixel telephoto. This will be in line with the overall increases in megapixels on the iterative updates on the S, S series of phones from Samsung. We're also looking to have a 30 by 88 by 1440 display resolution on the S22 Ultra. While this is a very high resolution display, this would be in line with the S22's version of the display. So hopefully we'll see some improvements in either the type of display or whether or not they'll use a different type of more shatter resistant materials as we've been seeing on several other flagships like the iPhone. Overall, while we've been seeing some rumors of an increased display size on the S22 Plus from the, to the S23 Plus, there hasn't been much talk about any large scale changes in the display as we'll likely see a 6.1 inch, 6.6 inch and 6.8 inch versions for the S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra as we've seen last year as well. In terms of the processor, the rumors are looking like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 2 processor, which is the newest model, will be present on each of the phones. In terms of other specs like RAM, 
we're expecting to see at least 8 gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM on the higher trim models just like we did last year with nothing else indicating otherwise. Battery life in terms of the capacity is something that Samsung can definitely improve on just in terms of numbers on paper but we have no indication that it'll be anything more than 5,000 milliamp hours at this point but we'll have to wait and see until February of 2023. So there you have it everyone, just a roundup of rumors that we have for the S23 series of phones. Here we are just, just a little bit under one month of release date. If you have a wish list of items that you want to see on the S23 phones, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe.